Hey, it's Nax and welcome back to my channel. What's up, you guys? So today we have more content from the cutting room floor that was left out of my Kratos build video. So this here is footage where I take out the stock ILM and put on the Thermal Grizzly contact frame. So for those of you who may not know, LG A1700 board have an issue where the stock ILM makes the CPU bend ever so slightly. So you don't get optimal contact between the CPU and cooler. The contact frame solves that problem by ensuring the CPU is flat. So you can see here I'm actually putting the CPU on first. And the reason for that is to protect the pins from getting bent. So once the CPU is in, we unscrew the screws for the ILM. And you can see another reason why I might have taken out this footage. The autofocus was on and going crazy. Now, one thing to note, I'm using the official Thermal Grizzly contact frame designed by the Bauer himself. Awesome guy, by the way. Very down to earth, super cool. One of those guys that doesn't let success get to his head. Now, there are a few other knockoff contact frames that are a lot less expensive at a quarter of the price. And to be honest, they work just as good and are actually easier to get them torqued correctly. So I don't blame you if you buy those instead, but if you're able to afford it, support the original designers if you can and try not to reward the copycats that simply ride the backs of hard work and research. So a lot of you guys know of Gamers Nexus. They do a fabulous job of reviews and helping consumers and they also do a lot of testing. But I did a Gamers Nexus on Gamers Nexus here by using Thermal Grizzly's instructions and using Gamers Nexus's own installation video and following it to a T. And then testing it out for accuracy by using a torque wrench afterwards. Can I just say, I know we're not even going to see this, um, but that is a beautiful looking contact frame. It looks so good. All right, next up, we're going to manually screw it in. Now, I do have a Torx screwdriver so that we could test out how accurate it is. Let's just go on ahead and start to manually screw it in first. All right, so now we're at the point where we're just going to tighten the screws 90 degrees each. So that's what we're going to do. And I'm going to do, of course, a crisscross me criss method. I actually also already have my markings on the screws, just so you guys know. All right, so start here at the bottom left. And since we have 90 degrees, it's like two clicks. One, two, and since we're doing crisscross, I'll go here next. One, two, this one. One, two, one, two. There we go. That looks so good. All right, so. So we have markings on the screw. We know where they ended up. So now what I'm going to do is that I'm going to screw them all a little bit and I'm going to torque that I'm going to screw them with my torque screwdriver. Now the recommended torque measurement is four to six centinewton meters. Yes, I just looked that up. I didn't even know that that existed until now or that's what it's called until now. Uh, but yeah, that's what it's called. Centinewton meters. So I have my torque screwdriver set at five. It's going to start beeping when it reaches five centinewton meters. And we're going to screw it back in slowly. Now, the moment the screwdriver beeps, I'm going to stop screwing it in. Oh, there we go. Beep. It's measured at 5.2 centinewton meters. And it's off by a little bit. But... That's okay. Um, it's off by like a degree or two, but that's okay because remember that the manual said uh, the torque measurement can be between four to six centimeters meters, and I had my torque screwdriver set at five, so we're good right there. Screw it, and then I'm gonna screw it back in. Oh, there we go. Five point one. 
and it landed perfectly right where it was supposed to. Oh. It, it landed perfectly again, 5.1. Oh. There we go, 5.2. And that one was a little bit off, but like I said, it's okay because we do have our um, measurement between four to six and we had our set at 5.2. So there you guys have it. I am, I, the method that Gamers Nexus and all the other videos are showcasing was actually pretty accurate. So let's go.